Hello everyone and welcome to my first episode ever. My name is Dersnedai and we are playing on the Zweibrunnen server. In this episode I will be showing you around, giving you a little server tour what I've built so far and then we will get on on some projects I have in mind for you. So let me just get out of the this camera view and put my armor on and yeah so here we have a little brew house area I built hmm portions of healing I don't remember putting that there so I really like the floor design in here it's really nice then we got a little bridge going out to the enchanting area enchanting house and let me just get up here it's really cool we got some storage what's happening there Whoa. Yeah, I got some diamonds, picks, some bowls, some stuff for enchanting, lapis, all that good stuff. Now, that is the first house I built on this server. And this server was started by me and my friend, Mr. Sparrow. He is also a YouTuber and he is the reason I got into YouTubing. We started the server just to play together, but as time have gone by, I decided to start recording and here we are. And yeah, this is my first house I built here. I got some storage area, smelting stuff here. I got this wither skeleton head from my first uh, wither skeleton. I just got in the nether and found a, a little little fortress area and I killed my first skeleton and got the head, so that's really, really lucky. But I used this sword, which as you can see is really cool. And it's got looting tree on it, that may be, may be why I got the head, but I don't know. Here I got some uh, charcoal producing system, automatic, you guys put your wood in in the upper chest and charcoal goes up the bottom and here is the big castle I began working on before I started recording and it's really big project and I wanted to get you guys on it so to give you maybe some ideas on how to continue building it and maybe yeah that sort of thing because I want to share my creations with other people from the Minecraft com community that is the main reason I started recording this and just let me get up here to show you the layout of the castle I have in mind and a little bit explain how I want it to go so you have the main area here this big one <coughs> and then you have some smaller towers going from the main area I don't know what the main purpose will be of this but uh, the most current goal is to get it up and running get it all nice and 
built so uh, you can see here a little bigger tower and here I sort of want to build a little backyard or something maybe to store some horses or stuff <coughs> sorry excuse me about that and yeah that's about it now I will go see the uh, wood farm and the mining operation I got it really nicely set up and I want to show you so yeah one more thing I wanted to talk about is uh, I'm really new to this all YouTube thing and if you have any suggestions and critiques and that sort of thing please be free to put it in a comment down there and oh you little fellow you're dead and uh, yeah please be free to put all of your thoughts in the comments so I can grow and be a better youtuber so yeah this is my little farm you got the oh you little bastard uh, yeah you got the pistons to pull and push up the dirt so you can plant the trees and I've gone with these uh, spruce trees because I think they produce most wood and they are most efficient to chop down because they don't have any branches so I think that's the most efficient way to farm wood I don't know I may be wrong so here I like this house very much this is my mining house and I really really like it how it turned out so we got some big grass here to kind of be sort of a foliage hello okay I got a lot of bunnies here in this area I don't know why maybe we will be building some sort of uh, rabbit farming or something so yeah I really like this house how it turned out and if we go down here, here is my parallel mining operation. Just to show you, I have it really nicely set up where when you're done mining, you just go to this chest and put all the things in it and it all gets sorted. So it's really nice how that goes. So yeah, we got some stuff here. I haven't mined recently, so I should probably get a little bit of mining done, but it's not the priority right now. Right now we will be starting. I think uh, I need some melon and pumpkin farms, so I will I will just go to the main farming area to show you everything I've done so far and we will be starting uh, the build the building of the farms I have in mind so <coughs> if we go down here I have a little setup for farming stone which I needed in abundance for the uh, for the castle down there and if we go down here I have my main farming area uh, I got some villagers I tried to make a infinite villager breeder but I don't seem to I do not seem to have got it I don't know what is the problem because they do not they do, do not uh, breed forever 
they just go, uh, get to five villagers and then stop and I don't know why I've used the design from Dokem uh, from his Minecraft series and I really like that design so I tried to implement it but it isn't really functioning properly I don't know why so if you have any ideas about that uh, please leave it in the comments and here we've got the uh, cow farming area it's a design from uh, Tango Tech and yeah it functions really really nice a little bit of uh, a little bit of wheat <laughs> wheat a little bit of wheat uh, farming area and down here I was thinking about making a, a pumpkin and melon farm and in the other direction across from the villagers we got some uh, sugarcane farming yeah it's a diagonal design and I began building a, an item elevator here but yeah all sorts of things need finishing around this base of mine so maybe in some future episodes oh hello there how did you get up here or down here hello we got the zisto guardian here so yeah uh, maybe in some future episodes we'll be getting around the base and finishing all sorts of little details and that stuff but for right now I think I'm going to get started on the uh, melon and pumpkin farm down here and then I will see you in a bit okay so I've come back with a little progress update from the pumpkin and melon farm as you can see I've got a little bit done here uh, you can s clearly see the design I'm going for here the pistons will move down and destroy the pumpkins and melons and then the hopper down hopper minecart da down there will go around and pick uh, the items up and put them in the chest here so I will try and see if you can see it in action uh, here but I don't know I bone milled uh, most of the these uh, the pumpkins and melons but I don't know if one would grow just for uh, so you can see it in action uh, I'm putting the redstone signal through a melon or pumpkin which will grow here and then it goes right up to the pistons so you have the trigger melon and pumpkin here and there and that is uh, the trigger for the system to operate and the whole room right now is a bit untidy not not really pretty you could say but I will get on with that and then I'll see you again okay so I've done a little more work on this farm area here as you can see I really like it how it turned out and I've put some uh, slime block elevators here so we can go down and up and that's all because I want to branch out from this room and put two more rooms in this corner and that corner there so yeah I, I really like it how it turned out it can be a really uh, a little laggy here on this server sometimes but the slime slime block elevators seem to work just fine 
you just sprint and get right on up here so the main mistake I made when building this farm is I haven't had in mind the storage facilities you would call them so the main storage is here right now and I don't like it I want to build a proper storage area for this farm so I think uh, we'll be building and so uh, a storage area in this corner here so I have to think about it how it will all go but I think we can do it most certainly we can do it so yeah I really like how this farm turned out uh, I can show you a little backside backsides or the guts of the the farm here oh hello zombie sir you'll die now so yeah the main uh, trigger for this farm is the hmm here should be a pumpkin stalk but I don't see it where where did it go hmm yeah you can see here we have the pumpkin stalk and there we don't have it okay so I, I will take care about that but the main uh, idea is that uh, pumpkin will grow right here in this spot and the whole farm will trigger I don't know if I told you this already or not but there you go the the main collection is going down here where the minecart goes around and picks up all the drops so yeah I think I will go now and clear a, clear a bit of an area down there or maybe it's better to do it here because of the closeness of this hopper here I think uh, I'll start clearing out an area for the storage because we don't have a really good storage system for this place so yeah I'll go around and do that and I'll see you in a bit okay guys so I've done a bit more work down here in this area I've cleared this out and put some chests down and some hoppers but I don't have any more iron for the hoppers so I will need to go and do some caving for that I've kind of continued the style from up there from that bigger room and continue it, uh, continued it down here as you can see I haven't done the floor yet but I don't know will I go with uh, with the quartz slabs and spruce slabs or something else I really don't know right now I kind of like this uh, these uh, furnace textures for the floor design but I don't really know will I uh, succeed in incorporating them into the floor so yeah I will need to go do some caving and then in the next episode we will be finishing the job on the on the storage area for the melons and pumpkins and then we'll be continuing the work on my big castle and that's really about it guys so I hope you enjoyed this one and if you did enjoy it please leave a like and if you really really enjoyed it please subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one Bye-bye.